Hi, Tyler here from Car Collectors, and today I'm going to do my top 10 Super Nintendo games. Let's do this. Number 10. I'm going to start my top 10 off with The Lost Vikings 2. I had the original Lost Vikings on Sega Genesis, and The Lost Vikings 2 took everything that was great about the original Lost Vikings and expanded on it. The three Vikings had upgraded weapons, there were two new characters to play as, and the levels were more detailed and difficult. Overall, it's just a really fun game to play by yourself or with a friend. Number 9. Evo Search for Eden is a game that I've played quite a bit on an emulator through the years. I don't actually own a copy myself because it's pretty expensive, but it's a really fun game where you start as a fish creature and you destroy other creatures to gain experience. And what makes this game unique is that you can choose different body parts to evolve as you progress through the game, and it's just a really interesting take on an RPG. Number 8. Contra 3 is just Contra Cool. It's action-packed shooting that's true to the NES original, but with SNES capabilities. While the top-down level might not be my favorite and it's kind of awkward, the game as a whole is a lot of fun, full of action non-stop. It's a great game to play by yourself or multiplayer. Number 7. Many people have heard of Earthbound because of Ness's inclusion in Super Smash Bros. or its high price tag. I first heard about it from a friend, and this game is great from its turn-based fighting to its new age retro hippies. And it's just really fun and it will always hold a place in gaming history. Number 6, Kirby Superstar. First of all, Kirby is adorable, and second of all, this game is awesome. Being able to copy opponents' abilities and then get partners such as Knuckle Joe, Sir Kibble, and Waddle Doo is just great. The graphics are very colorful and fun, and the levels are fun to explore on. Overall, this game is just really enjoyable, and it's always been one of my favorites. Number 5. One thing everybody should know about me, if they don't already, is that I'm a Ninja Turtle fan. In fact, in college, I was referred to as the Ninja Turtle guy. But you don't have to be a Turtles fan to like Turtles in Time. It stands on its own as an all-time great Super Nintendo game in the action beat-em-up genre. Just playing as Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, and Michelangelo for hours on end, it never gets old. Number 4. There's not much to say about Super Mario World that hasn't already been said. It has great levels, power-up, secrets, and Yoshi. Mario Bros. 3 set the bar high, but Mario World did not disappoint. It maintains that Super Mario formula while expanding on it, and it remains a classic to this day. Number 3. When I was just a little kid, I played Donkey Kong Country a lot at my uncle's house. Now, he only had Donkey Kong Killer Instinct, so there weren't a lot of options, but I didn't need a lot of options because it's such a great game. Whether you're playing one player or multiplayer, controlling Donkey and Diddy Kong, it's just such a joy. And the music is so great in this game. It has many different themed levels, and it's just a lot of fun. It was my first experience with the Super Nintendo, and I'm grateful for it. Number 2! This game is the top SNES game for many people, and for good reason. When I first bought this game years ago, I sat down that night and played it for hours. Then the next morning, I got up and finished it by lunchtime. The sense of adventure in this game is just great. Exploring the vast land of Hyrule while saving the princess is just a lot of fun. The original Zelda was a masterpiece, and this game continued that into the 16-bit generation. Number 1. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. This game is awesome in so many ways. It took Mario in a whole new direction, and it strongly appeals to me in the same way Paper Mario does, which makes sense considering Mario RPG laid down the framework for the Paper Mario series. Teaming up with Princess Peach and Bowser is a radical change, but it works so well here. Going through the Mushroom Kingdom, getting new items and abilities, it's just a really refreshing take on the Mario series. Overall, there's just so many good things about this game, and that's why it's my favorite Super Nintendo game. And that concludes my top 10 Super Nintendo games. Now, I left some good games off this list, and that's because there's some games I haven't played as much, and some games maybe I don't have as much nostalgia for, and like I said, there are good games that are left off, like Star Fox and F-Zero, the Mega Mans, and a lot of other RPG-type games, but there's only 10 spots, so... 
some games had to not make the cut. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, go ahead and tell me what your top 10 games are. Tell me what games maybe you agreed with or disagreed with, and let's just have a conversation with it down in the comments. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. This game is the top SNES game for a lot of people for good... Why am I scratching my back in the middle of that? <laughs>